he brought lots of stuntmen from Hollywood to Hawaii and made a, a big, big fight sequence in uh, Aloha Sama. But unfortunately, it didn't come out so good. You know, I didn't... Uh, producer was telling me that, uh, well, he spent, uh, I mean, you know, uh, the pro, uh, production spent lots of money to brought lots of stuntmen and make big, but unfortunately, the scene didn't work out. But sometimes it's a happen. You spend so much money and so many stuntmen and so many effects, but didn't work out. On the other hand, you didn't spend any money, but sometimes it works. So it's a movie, you know. So sometimes spend, sometimes lose, sometimes win, you know. So uh, very hard to tell you that uh, uh, you know they are expecting big, big fight more than uh, me. Uh, uh, Konishi, myself, and the Yuji, and my son, you know, uh, Yuji Okamoto. Uh, but everybody likes our fighting scene than, uh, you know, all uh, big uh, local people and uh, uh, Navy people fighting scene. Wasn't so good. And I was watching uh, Okamoto fight uh, there and using, uh, I think, bamboo stick, no, uh, some stick fight wasn't so great at all. If me, do a different way. But that's, all, you know, happened. It's already finished, you know, but sometimes regret, sometimes, you know, I mean, you know, I wish I could do it. Steve was telling me too, Steve remember, oh, he wish you could do that. that. But uh, it's not my fighting sequence, but I wasn't even there to watch, you know, and I don't want to tell, you know, uh, Steve Lombard is the one stunt coordinator and he's the one put together for the fighting sequence so I don't want to be involved you know that's the main thing if you want to try to even a choreographer if you try to do someone else they get so upset you know stunt man and uh, that's between you know I mean since I'm answering all questions sometimes so much problem you know I mean I'm a choreographer fighting choreographer and stunt coordinator sometimes we got a problem too so before that, you know, I have so much experience, you know, that, uh, I didn't like it, he didn't like it. So, you know, we argue with that, you know, so many things. So, you know, I mean, I knew that since uh, and, uh, Revenge of Ninja, after Revenge of Ninja, I knew it, uh, what part I should do, what part I shouldn't do it. You know, Enter the Ninja was, uh, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Mike uh, Stone, he's, a, he's a, a choreographer, even though my, Fighting scene at the end, I give uh, him a lot of idea. No, no, no. This is how I have to use, better use this one. I did that uh, arena or a few places, but the rest of them, he's the one the responsible for the whole fighting sequence. But I give the idea. But from Revenge Ninja, I told uh, when you know I hired Steve Lambert for Revenge Ninja, I told him, you stick to stunt. I will do all fighting sequence. Uh, so this way we don't fight each other. Any stunt, you need the help, I will do it. But all fighting sequence, let me uh, choreograph and, you know, and I will tell you what to do for the stunt or so. And, uh, you know, uh, he was very happy to agree with me. So, you know, so it works out good. And, uh, but anyway, Ninja 3, I, I was working with him too. But this one, this Aroha Sama was by accident. You know, he was there first. I didn't know that Steve was there, and uh, I was higher, uh, higher at the end because they start. Sh I mean, they all the uh, filming in Hawaii, and I went there uh, all my, how many days? Five or six, almost one week. Yeah, they they have been shooting. So uh, I I was joining, and my part finished, and I just came back. That's all. That's all I did. Then. But anyway, and also another movie. Uh, Brand Fury and uh, Steve was a coordinator, stunt coordinator and a choreographer, you know, fighting choreographer and Steve Lambert. But this Brand Fury, uh, I didn't work with him, but this is a funny story. Brand Fury, before they cast it, even a uh, uh, lot Howard asking, uh, you know, uh, pro, uh, production, uh, asking a Howard, they call my agent and ask me as a uh, fighting choreographer. No stunt, but fighting choreographer. So they asked me to put 
all choreography uh, for uh, Brand Fury for Latifah Hours? I say no. Uh, for me, it's very tough. If I am not in it, if I do uh, choreographs for someone else, Sometimes it works out good, sometimes no. And uh, I could double it for him because Mr. Rutger uh, Hauer is about my size. I think six or six one. So my size and, uh, you know, uh, a little heavier than me. Just a little bit, but almost same. So I could double it for him. So I could make much more better. That's I could do that. But, you know, I, I just... Uh, you know, somehow I didn't like for just only doubling from Lothar Hauer, uh, Mr. Lothar Hauer, and uh, as a choreographer, you know, choreographer. So I said no. Then they are looking for the choreographer and uh, they found out uh, Steve, you know, Lambert, you know, because he was working uh, with me, Revenge Ninja. And uh, anyway, he got the job and went to Philippines shooting uh, this uh, Brian Fury but didn't work out great, I don't know why, but uh, producer and uh, produce after uh, all finished and uh, he called me, you know, I mean, not he, actually, a uh, uh, few producers, couple producers, you know, two producers called my agent, uh, you know, they will, uh, they will ask me to see the film and if, uh, re how to say, editing or doing something, uh, you know, how, how, how they can fix the film. Because uh, uh, product, the producer and also production and some very important people for distributors saw the movie, but didn't do well. Uh, they don't like the first and uh, they have to rewrite the screen and they have to add, you know, some more fighting sequence. Uh, with real sword play or so. And so uh, they asked me, you know, if I could help. I said, no, but I have an idea. Uh, I saw the film and I, I have an idea. Why don't you uh, 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 give me some part as a special guest? You know, only a few days, couple of days, fine. And I don't fight with Mr. L uh, Latka Howard, uh, brand man, brand sword man. So we can make some highlight. Might be, might be makes different for the movie. Uh, so my agent uh, called right away to producer and tell. And they like the idea. And uh, beside our scene, they have shoot. Uh, they shoot a small scene, couple of scene, just small scene. So uh, they decided to make additional scene in Los Angeles, in uh, Paramount Studio. Uh, in LA, Los Angeles, you know Paramount Studio, right? They, they rent a one, uh, how to say, uh, studio there and uh, we, we shot that. So all my uh, fighting scene with uh, uh, Mr. Ratba Howard, I use one of my uh, uh, the double, I mean, one of my student, his rock belt, made, uh, Mr. Eddie Tsai. He was very good sword too. I, I was teaching him, so he doubled Mr. Uh, Lutka Howard. And uh, it worked out uh, very, very well because everybody likes that uh, jacuzzi, uh, jacuzzi uh, fighting sequence. So uh, I think my idea was correct and a couple of days, but it's worth it because you know, whole, I, uh, the whole scene, but that's one of the highlight scenes that, that uh, you know, uh, distribute uh, Buter. Uh, that's for the, the tri style. So, you know, and the producer were very happy about that. So, I, you know, uh, I, I was helping that part. I'm very happy. And uh, somehow, uh, uh, Steve Rambach didn't show up the fighting sequence because producer asked me completely, so he didn't uh, show up. So uh, additional uh, fighting a few days, I did choreograph and I did ask Stan to have to do, you know, and that's it. So that works out. So actually two movies with uh, Steve Rambach, Revenge uh, of the Ninja, Ninja Series Domination, but another two, Aroha Sama and Brian Fury, those are by accident. I mean, you know, 
uh, by surprise. You know, I was with him, you know, I mean, the, I, uh, that's all. So actually, uh, you know, uh, all together, four movies, you know, uh, I was working with him. I mean, actually two movies, yes, but two movies separately working, you know. Did I answer your question? Is it okay? It's clear? Uh, and uh, I think last year, uh, Mr. Steve Lambert passed away. Uh, you know, very sorry about that. You know, I'm, uh, we really miss him, you know. I mean, we argued a lot, you know, and uh, after Reven uh, Ninja 3, I didn't work with him, but, uh, you know, I respected him, you know. He's a uh, stuntman, he's a great stuntman. You know, uh, he's a great stuntman, uh, stunt coordinator too. That's, uh, uh, that's the truth. You know, uh, even though I didn't like his fighting scene, uh, but uh, he's a great stuntman. That's, uh, you cannot take off that, you know, take out from him. But I, I really miss him and, uh, you know, pray for that. Yeah. Did I answer your question? Well, the last one, how did you meet Miss Carol Jones, a casting director. Uh, this movie was uh, your first movie with her casting, Miss Underline A from Utah. Uh, well, Miss A, uh, as I told you, that, uh, uh, Aroha Summer is the first one. And, uh, you know, my agent, oh, by the way, my agent Ray and uh, Miss Carol Jones, uh, they know each other long, long time. So, that's why maybe Ray asked uh, uh, Miss Carol Jones to uh, just uh, uh, see her, you know, I mean, ask me to see her. So this way, uh, he, she might uh, help me or she might cast me. And, but she likes my uh, somehow uh, character uh, for Yukinaga Konishi for Aroha Summer. And she recommended the producer Mike Gregg and Warren Chani a lot. That's I heard. And I got the part right away after, you know, short film testing uh, 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 some scene with her. But uh, I'm very glad. And after that, Miss Carol Jones, I asked her to be uh, our main uh, casting director for, uh, I produced uh, uh, Kabuto, uh, 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 Kabuto and uh, Maeda, Shogun Maeda, Janio, uh, aka Jani of Honor. Uh, I asked her to cast it, but she's great casting director. Uh, I really missed him. I missed her, you know, too. Uh, unfortunately, she passed away, you know, uh, more than 10 years ago, I think. Yes, I really missed her. But anyway, she's very nice. Oh, by the way, she's Personally, she's so good. I mean, like very polite, very soft, and never yelled. I never heard. Always so quiet, but thinking, you know, very nice person. I, I really love her. That, you know, she's so nice. Nice lady. I missed her, you know, really a lot. Well, Miss A, did I answer your question? Well, thank you all your question and see you next time.